Hello, DVC fan. Fiasco here at the Grand Floridian again. Uh, we toured the Grand Villa, which was absolutely magnificent. But as I hinted to in that video, we kind of got a two for one deal on this tour today and we saw both the two bedroom and the Grand Villa. So today we're gonna be checking out the two bedroom. If for any reason you missed that Grand Villa, check the description below. There'll be a link to that. You cannot miss it. Before we get started, if you enjoy this content, please consider supporting our sponsor, the world of DVC for these DVC fan videos, whether you wanna buy a resale contract, run some points, try before you buy, all that info and more down in the description below. But let's go see the two bedroom. Is it gonna hold a candle to the Grand Villa? Let's find out. So we're taking our first steps here into a two bedroom villa at Disney's Grand Floridian comfortably sleeping up to nine people. Really, really, really like this little dining nook with the booth. I'm a big booth person. At all the restaurants, booth please. No high tops. <laughs> I love this. Subtle art. The more and more I come and visit Grand Floridian, it grows on me more and more. Um, this was always a place where I would consider to not be my style. But the more and more I visit it, the more and more I really, let's get closer to that, those plates, those are some nice plates the more and more I really appreciate it. I'm starting to nuzzle this resort into my top five, quite honestly. There's our view from the two bedroom out there. You can see the poly, which is honestly a pro for me. You can also see the contemporary. Some people don't like Seeing the other resorts, I do. I like it. Even Caribbean Beach I like. I like Caribbean Beach from Riviera. There's Haley getting caught on camera. Mm -hmm. Again, I made no promises that I wouldn't capture her on camera today. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous room. So by the time you're seeing this, our grand villa room has already gone up. Um, but by the time I'm recording this, I actually haven't seen the grand villa yet. I haven't been in. I've only ever seen pictures of it. So that would have already been up, like I said, by the time this video goes up. But I'm curious to see how this two bedroom villa is comparable to the grand three bedroom villa. Which again, if you haven't seen yet, I'll leave that in the description below for you to check out because everybody always says how amazing, how amazing that room is. Hey. This bathroom is incredible. Oh my goodness. The shower. One thing that Disney really nails is the showers in these big rooms. I can never tell which one I like the most. I think hats off still have to go to the bungalow shower. The bungalow shower was just incredible. Oh, there are your H2O products to, to bring home. If that's what you do, that's what I do. But um, this, one is, this one is great too. And I really like the, the tub. Let's keep on moseying through here. So my guide was telling me uh, this is a dedicated two bedroom, but you also have access to uh, choose a lock off room. Oh my goodness, they have two cool showers. It's not every day that your room gets two cool showers. That's, that's awesome. So not a lot of fighting to be had. You know, if I have guests staying with me in a room with just one cool shower, there's going to be, 
you know, some laying down the law of who's gonna be using that shower, and it's gonna be me. Um, but here, <laughs> both, both bathrooms have awesome showers. And then the regular one. That's a lot of room to get ready in the morning. Um, so yeah, this is a dedicated two bedroom, uh, but you also have the option of getting a lock off here, a lock off two bedroom. So this room would be here. This room with that bathroom would be locked off as another option. You know, if you want a little bit more privacy with your travel party. So let's do, I always make it a point to check out the storage and see if we can make anybody sleep in there. You can make a really skinny person sleep in this closet. And let's see if we missed anything. Nope, nothing there. Uh, no one's gonna sleep in that closet. And you got your washer and dryer. All right, let's do one more once over, see if there's any closets for people to sleep in. For the people you don't like. Oh, we found a closet for the person you like least in your party to sleep in. There's their room. Just lay out those two things right there, put a pillow on it and tell them to have a good night. But yeah, that's a look at the two bedroom. Just a few statistics, some figures for this two bedroom villa. If you wanted to rent this during the low season with DVC points, it has a low of 45 points a night in September and about an average of around 63, 64 points a night for the rest of the year. So you can check those point charts online, but that's about where you're gonna be looking at ballpark for, uh, for any given time, get in this two bedroom villa. Tell me when. All right, let's do it. Ooh, magic. That was Haley's idea. She can take full credit for it. It's incredible out here. I could be out here all day. I thought we would end the two bedroom with this majestic view. A little bit of music playing in the background. View of the wedding pavilion there too. Tell me you wouldn't mind waking up to this with your morning coffee. And then you can just walk to Magic Kingdom because we got that walking path now. But that's going to do it for today's room tour. In the comments down below, let us know where you want to see next. And if you missed any of our room tours, there's a playlist for that now. You can also find that in the description below. Till next time.